The refinance summary sheet is a little bit different than the purchase sheet, and it actually has return on investment and the cost of money over time. Plus, it has another uh, a number of compliance things that are just going to help you submit nice, clean loans. First off, one of the things about compliance is you want to make sure that you have all your license numbers, state, company, your individual, you know, NMLS license. And when we were talking about setup, we said suggest that you put your company logo in there. Reason being is branding. It's very important that you brand your company and yourself in your local community in order to thrive. Now here you're going to see five loans in a side-by-side -side comparison. Notice we're all under 80%. This is a cash out refinance. This one's a little bit more complicated. When we originally started this training sessions for uh, all the different um, options, we picked a complicated one just to show you how easy it would be to actually do the configuration and never pick up your calculator. Remember, there's about 700 ca uh, calculations in here, as well as decision trees. And in this particular situation on loan one, we're subordinating a first and a second. On loan two, we're in three, four, and five, we're only going to subordinate uh, the second, and we're going to pay off that third. All right. And we're also going to pay off about $42,000 worth of debt. So in this situation, 2.625 is loans one and two. So it's a side by side comparison. You can see all the different payments for principal and interest and also for the taxes and insurance. Uh, we also measure reserves. Remember this uh, particular scenario that we've been going through actually has two rental properties. Well, it factors the reserves in not only how many months, which is six months according to the Fannie Mae guidelines, but it also factors in the 2% percentage of the unpaid principal balance. And if you remember from the uh, reserves page, it'll actually show you right there exactly where you stand and if that loan's going to go through or not. Uh, also, when you take a look at this, the debt to income ratio is a little bit high. It's in that gray area if it's going to get approved by Fannie Mae or Freddie Mac. FHA, your lender may accept 50%. They may accept 55%. But in this particular situation, we're going after a Fannie Mae loan. We're going to pay off and save $1,372 a month. We're paying off again that $42,882. This is net tangible benefit, another key decision point in the actual uh, refinance process. And in this particular situation, we're 111.1% better than what the guideline says we need to be. So we're in great shape. So here's a new combined payment with all loans and what their current payment is how much money we're saving with the debt payoff. So they were paying $4,427. Uh, $4, They're saving $2,030, $2,068 on two. We call this our red box. We focus everybody. When they say, hey, your closing costs are too high, go take a look at the red box because the red box tells the true story of the refinance. Anything less than 18 months is a, should be an absolute no-brainer, okay? unless they're selling the property in 18 months. If they're selling it in five years, this is just absolutely outstanding, and they need to understand that. You take a look at the cash flow over a number of years, and you can change this, by the way, on the fly. So in uh, eight years, for example, $194,917, okay? So eight years times 12 times 2,030, that's your net number. Now we're gonna talk about the cost of money over time. Cost of money over time means that we're saving $2,030. We'll pick on 10 years here, 120 months. So 120 months times your $2,030 a month savings minus your closing costs. So this is a net, net number. But if they're selling that home in 10 years, really, believe it or not, loan three long term is their best financial strategy. So I always ask my clients, is it cash flow or is it return on investment? What's the most important? You know, over 20 years, it changes, and loan two is actually now the best loan for them. It takes all the guesswork out of it. It actually gives them the answer. Now, the beautiful part about it is, is that here is where the borrower makes the selection. Once they make the, the selection, you now know the sixth item. You